So Go High Level just released their Facebook and Instagram comment automation system or for workflow, which means that you can now slip into people's DMs and sell them more stuff, which is really nice and means that ManyChat now has a lot more competition. Um, you've all seen these videos or uh, posts where it says comment uh, X, Y, and C down below and we'll do something else. Um, and this is exactly what you can do now inside of Go High Level. Uh, the reason why it's so important or so nice to have is you could comment before, but you didn't have this um, conversation going. So it wasn't as uh, intimate and you didn't have options. What you can do now is you can say comment, um, go ABC below, and they will you, we can now put in a DM inside or send a DM to them with options or buttons. So they can click different buttons and choose a path on what they actually want from you as a company. So they might just want to book a meeting, then fine, click the button, book a meeting, or they might want more information. Then you can route them over to a chatbot or just a DM with more information about your services um, and do other cool stuff. So um, let's get into the video and let me show you how this works. We'll go to automations um, and then I will click on this RAP mini chat setup. This is just a test automation that I built. Um, here we can see that we got two triggers. So the first one is a comment trigger where the page is my page, scale by tech. The post type is anything that is published. And the contain phrase is go ABC. And this is not case sensitive, just so you know. Um, I have set up both the uh, Instagram trigger and the Facebook trigger. So it doesn't, it, uh, it doesn't matter which platform they reply on. They can reply on any post at the moment on both platforms and this will trigger this automation. Once someone replies, go ABC, it will wait for six seconds just to not be instant. Then we will respond to the comment and we will also like the comment. This only works on Facebook posts. And we have this uh, switch mechanism where you can add multiple uh, responses. So we're going to send them a DM and they're going to do stuff. Um, so it's not to sound too robotic and spam the same message again and again, we have this switch option. I would probably suggest having five to seven different responses. Uh, I've just added three here. Um, and if it's on Facebook, we like the comment as well. We cannot do this on Instagram. Then we're going to hop onto a condition. Let me move my face over here. Inside the conditions, we say that the workflow trigger is Instagram. So that is the branch one, branch IG, this one over here. And here we got branch FB for Facebook and uh, none if somehow they got into this automation without coming through those uh, triggers. So we say the workflow trigger is, and then we select Instagram uh, comments on post. We then add a branch, which is Facebook trigger is um, they comment on that. What this will do is they if they come from Instagram, they will go here because we need different automation reply uh, notes for Instagram than we do for Facebook. If there was just a uniform one we could put together, but we don't. So we need to split out the replies coming from Instagram and to Facebook. You could also create two separate workflows, automations to handle only Instagram and only Facebook. But I like this one if it's for the same purpose, if we're driving the traffic the same place, it makes more sense to have it in one automation. So we can edit everything from here. And once they reply, ABC, we uh, go ABC. We put them on this path if they replied on Instagram. I'm going to click here. Instagram Interactive Messenger. What this will do is that if they replied on a comment, we can now 
reply to them via DM. And this was not possible before. So the first uh, thing we're gonna do here is hey, and then contact first name. We pull this from uh, Instagram. Please select from the menu below what you wanna do. And then we can add buttons. And here's a very important part. Um, the first time, like you can uh, add, let me see, we can't add more buttons. Let me go to the Facebook one, add a new button. We can select conditions here, open website, call a number or perform action. Um, I haven't played around with call number. I think it will just pop up or add the number or call it, I don't know. Open website. Uh, you might think that um, like it will say send link and then you add your link. The problem with this specific option here is that if they click on this button, we will reply again um, and that becomes a problem later in the automations. The perform action, when they click this button, this book call will be put into the chat as them writing out book a call and then sending that message, which means that they sent us a message. The reason why this is highly important is for the next step. Because if you wanna split out and do different things and send them different DMs by automations, you must have a DM, incoming DM from them before you can send DMs to them. And the restrictions is within 24 hours. So if you haven't received any incoming DMs from this account of them for this lead, you are not allowed to send them DMs, which means that if you uh, choose the, um, not here, if you choose the website thingy, so that would be open website, we will just send the website link to them without them uh, putting in this like this and then um, send link. They will not type this into the, uh, the chat. So they never send us a message, which means we're not allowed to send them any DMs or messages if they choose this path here. So I would not recommend using open website. I would recommend just doing the uh, actions which are these ones perform action because after you perform the action, you can then send the link. So for example, book a call um, or send website link. It will then go down here and we then send them the link with the text and we can actually then put in wait timers and so forth and then follow up with the lead and saying, did you book a call? And um, we can add in, for example, with the want more information i'll write here cool um let me see if this makes sense then i describe the platforms and then i say if this sounds interesting then you can book a call here it's a very simple automation here but you get the point you could say want more information and instead of just sending a dm we could start to add in conversation ai for example the built-in chatbot so it would ask a question what would you like to know and it would then be tied into, um, so if there, we can then say condition, interested, um, then we add the condition, if they're interested in automation. We can then have the bot branch this out. Let's not fuck this up at the moment. Let's save here. Okay, so this is how it's built out. We get the triggers, they comment on our uh, posts or reels or whatever. We then reply to their comment. And uh, if they're on Facebook, we like it as well with the switch function. We then split it up in Instagram, Facebook, so forth. We then add a selector or a option, what they want to do. So we can split out with options here. And then we send them messages depending on those options. I've added here a timeout. So in this, we're going to wait 120 minutes. If they have not responded, 
Um, I'll just put them in default timeout and delete the contact. I don't want to have uh, random people in my CRM if not necessary. Like if they just commented and never gave a reply again, like get them out of my system. So let's test this out. Go back, confirm. Let's go to Instagram. And here we have a post. I will just comment, go A, B, C, so forth. Now we cannot, let me close that, was it this one? Yeah, I think it was. Um, we can't see the uh, option replies on the screen or in the comment here. So I have to take out my phone in order to choose the, uh, the option box because it doesn't pop up uh, on, on a computer. It only does this. So I want to want more information. You can see it popped up there. Then it will route over to that uh, more information thingy, paste that in and then with the link. And we can see over here that we got a reply. So you got DM, um, just to say state in the comment section that we actually sent them a DM, it's good practice. So now we, they wanted more information, we added in this, and then you can of course go in and build out this chat system with as many layers and stuff and extra things uh, if you want to. But it's pretty neat, it works, and now you can drive more traffic into your bookings, into your products with the uh, uh, leave a comment below thingy by typing whatever phrase you want, something that people don't type uh, by mistake. So I thought that go ABC would be something um, they wouldn't accidentally type. Lastly, um, if you want a go high level account, so an account here um, on crm.scalebytech.com, you can get one very cheaply in the comment section below. And if you want the whole platform, you kind of need to go to, uh, at the moment you need to go into our free stuff, into our community in order to get the uh, platforms that we describe here. So you get both CRM, no code tool, visual database, all that. But that is the ABC platform. It is coming in a store near you very soon. But cheap CRM or cheap high level account in the links, affiliate links below if you wanna check out all the other platforms. So leave a comment if you uh, have any questions about it and I will see you in the next video. Bye.